Barbados has something to offer everybody. It's definitely a more affluent and sophisticated destination. It's a British Commonwealth island and it's a little bit more formal, you know, it's very clean and um, like I said, you know, very more affluent. In terms of accommodations, I mean anything from, you know, expansive all-inclusive resorts to, you know, small condominiums and villa style, you know, villa rentals um, where, you know, you can go out to the grocery store and get your, get your food and bring it back and cook it yourself. The beaches um, on the west coast are beautiful. They're more of a golden sand, but they're long stretches of beach, wide, wide beaches, and the water's very calm, so very safe for swimming. The beaches on the south coast, although there is a rougher surf, it is the uh, more white sand, turquoise waters, so that's where you're going to get the really, you know, Caribbean beautiful, uh, beautiful beaches. You get fantastic temperatures year-round there. They actually have a tropical rainforest um, where you'll find some monkeys, and um, one of the most popular uh, things to see there is actually Graham Hall um, Sanctuary. And although it's really close to a main road, when you enter this place, you actually feel like you're in a different place. Um, you're going to get hundreds of different species of birds, and that's actually where you'll find the mangrove trees. Um, and there's inland water there as well. The food is fantastic. You're going to get international cuisine. Um, it's one of those destinations where you don't have to go all-inclusive because you've got hundreds of dining options outside of the resort. It really has something for everybody.